Hey guys, I wanted to bring you a new video. Um, I have never reviewed a Perun 2 before or had one in my hands. Uh, so this coming up on sale in this limited edition color, I got my hands on one and uh, thought I'd bring you a video on it. So this is the Gradient Perun 2 in blue to purple. So this is a 21700 uh, battery flashlight so similar to the M2R Pros, the Warrior X Pros comes with a 4000 milliamp 21700 battery this thing is 2500 lumens um, and it is very bright uh, it's definitely a flood light uh, 166 meters of throw it says uh, it doesn't throw uh, it is just light up your entire backyard or the entire you know area where you're camping whatever it's it's a very good flood light okay guys I'll give you a little comparison here i'm i don't know 20 30 yards away from the tree line here just my backyard um i'll give you a comparison between the perun two and the M2R Warrior Pro. So here's the M2R. Definitely has more of a throw than the Perun, and it's got good flood, but the Perun is definitely a floody kind of light. Let's try this on turbo. You can see it does not have the hot spot that the M2R does, but it's got a lot of flood. I'll just turn the M2R beside it. There you go, you can see the hot spot. Off, much different temperature too. The Perun 2 is much cooler white, and there's some yellow in the M2R, comparatively speaking. All right, and just to give you a little comparison on a on a wall where you can kind of see the outline of the pattern and everything. This is the Perun 2. I'm about 10 feet away from the wall. That is on the lowest setting, and I will get out a M2R. There's the M2R Pro on Moonlight. Next setting up. You can see there's way different pattern there. One's definitely more of a thrower. Not that the M2R Pro is a thrower, but compared to the Perun, it definitely throws a lot further. And doesn't have nearly the spill or the flood. Okay, and then I'll give you turbo on both. So here's the Perun 2 on turbo. Puts up the whole wall very nicely. Very even beam pattern. And here is the M2R Warrior next to it, the Pro. So much different beasts for the same size light. This thing comes with a few accessories. So it comes with your multi amperage charger. This one actually comes with a tool for getting the lanyard in the uh, the little loop here right there so it comes with a little pin that you can pull it through which is nice and it comes with the headband so that you can wear this as a headlight instruction manuals in there as well so there is the headband so obviously you just slide it through there and you have yourself a headlight this does have the strap that goes over the top as well. All right, I'll give you a little look at this. Color gradient's pretty cool. They did a good job on it. All the machining looks very nice. Of course, this is magnetic tail cap rechargeable. And it'll snap onto anything you have that's metal. 
You can see the little black spot here. This does have a proximity sensor, so you don't burn yourself if you have it on high. Put it on turbo here, put my hand against it, and it steps down. And then you move your hand and it brightens up again. Uh, also good if you have something too close and you're wearing it as a headband, it'll dim the light so you're not blinding yourself so much. If you happen to run into something that's close to you, it'll it'll step down the light so it doesn't wash out your vision. Your vision is bad. Just for a size comparison, this is the M2R Pro. Okay, so thickness, they're pretty much the same. They take the same battery. Obviously, you can just see that the head is 90 degrees on the Perun 2, and it just continues on straight on the M2R Pro. There's your lens comparison. And this Warrior uh, M2R Warrior Pro definitely throws more than the Perun. Um, obviously, different design, so... Another size comparison, here's a Warrior Mini. Other than the thickness, it's actually pretty close to that. Maybe a half inch longer. Just look at some of the specs here. So we've got uh, yeah, 5 lumen uh, moonlight mode. 30 lumens on low, 120, 500, and then 2,500 lumens stepping down to 800 after two minutes. IPX8 waterproof rated. And I don't think they mention it right here, but it also has a SOS uh, mode. So a lot of our lights, uh, like if we triple click on the M2R Pro, you get strobe. Um, but on the Perun 2, if you triple click, you get SOS. So, you could put that on and leave it on if you had to. If you're in trouble and trying to get uh, someone to give you assistance, obviously, it's uh, a handy feature to have. Feels very solid. Uh, like I said, really nice machine work in the cooling fins and everything else up here on the head. Knurling going down is very nice. They definitely did a good job on it. He said this is the first Perun 2 I've had at all. Um, I hadn't had one before now, so I wanted to do a dedicated video just for it. Uh, there is a sale coming on. This is actually going on sale tonight, um, March 18th, 2021, in case you're watching this later. Uh, and I'm actually going to be giving one of these away, the uh, gradient colored uh, Perun 2. So go, on, go over to my Facebook page and I'll have a post there. And I'll just get you to like and comment on that post. And I'll get you in the draw. We'll uh, give away one of these uh, Perun 2s in gradient color. Yeah, very nice light, guys. I'm, uh, I like it. Um, I think I'm more akin to wanting a light that goes straight out the front, just the way I hold them. Um, but I can definitely see the benefit to the 90 degree head on the thing. Uh, as far as a work light, if you want to snap it to the side of a vehicle or something, um, you get lots of options as far as where you can place the light. I think more so than you do with something that goes straight off the end. A little more versatile as far as placement, I think, with the 90 degree head on it. Plus being able to just snap it to your to your shirt and have it face out, you know, or your jacket uh, or the strap of your backpack and have it actually light your way. Um, plus you have the headlight option. It's definitely a versatile um, configuration. One thing I do find when I 
hold the light even if I choke way down on it and I'm not covering it with my whole hands it I see my my finger being lit up quite a bit and outside it's actually fairly bright um, if, you, if I actually hold the thing at full grip it's almost uh, distracting to have that bright white spot from my index finger kind of shining back at me but just a I think maybe a reason why I like it, comparatively speaking, like one going off the, the end, because you don't have to worry about that. Not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. Uh, and if you're using it attached to something, whether it be your head through the strap or, uh, you know, backpack strap or clothing or whatever, that's not going to be an issue anyway, right? So, but it's got a very nice rubberized button up here. Very easy to get onto. It's very large. And... Positive clicks. Really nice. They did a good job on it. Definitely recommend it if it uh, suits your needs. And like I said, it is going on sale tonight, um, March 18th, 2021. Uh, go ahead and use my affiliate link below. And if you do end up uh, buying anything, if you find something that's not on sale, like for example... They have their limited edition orange o bulb going on, but it's not on sale. It's just going up for sale. Uh, use my coupon code CDN Sheepdog uh, for ten percent off anything that's not at a sale price. All right, guys. Thanks for checking out the video. Uh, I'll get another one coming to you very soon. Have a great day.